Seattle is the hottest music source in the United States right now. We're going to take a look this morning at some of the newest and some of the old bands from the Seattle area. So tune in, tune up, and rock out. Been thinking about a vacation trip to the Pacific Northwest? Well, those are just a few of the sounds of this big country. We think sounds are about the best way of communicating there is. So we've assembled a collection of typical sounds of the Pacific Northwest. Now sit back and listen. Two-Way Street from the band Blood Circus, released on Sub Pop Records last summer. Uh, before that, Cat Butt off uh, the Sub Pop 200 compilation triple disc thing. And Big Cigar, the name of that song, The Puds, from way back in 1982, off a thing called The Seattle Syndrome, a compilation of 15 Seattle bands from that post-New Wave era, and the song called Take Me to Your Leader, The Puds. You Men started the set off with They, off the Deep Six compilation from Seattle, which came out back in 1985. Now I'm moving into Green River, the band, and the bands that came away from Green River. A couple of them, anyway. In a few months, I'll be 18, and I'll come into the money my father left me, and I won't need anyone to tell me how to live or what to do. Look at me, Rick. I'm not just a little girl anymore. I'm a woman. Mark Arm. And the boys from Mud Honey off their last LP, EP thing, Super Fuzz, Big Muff. Mark Arm, the self-proclaimed genius behind Mud Honey and Green River, lead singer, guitarist, and all that. Before Mud Honey was Mother Love Bone, the other branch off of Green River with uh, Stone Gossard and Jeff Ament from those uh, from the early years. And Green R- River started that set off with uh, the song Ozzy from way back for them. It is the Breakfast of Champions. My name is Dara, and we're going back to the roots of Seattle rock and roll. The thing that started the fire in Seattle. Going way back to 1964 with the Sonics and Boss Haas, the name of that song. And uh, those guys, I don't think many of the bands in Seattle today are claiming roots in Boss Haas and the Sonics, or Jimi Hendrix even, and fire before that, but uh, you gotta feel it that that's where Seattle music started off. There's tributes all over Seattle um, to Jimi Hendrix, not many to the Sonics, but to Jimi Hendrix. Um, so you know the the feel is still alive. That's why this band, the Screaming Trees, moved all the way from Ellensburg, Washington, the uh, famous scab lands of Washington State, into Seattle, into the big city to get that feel, to hang with with all the guys. This is off their new album, Buzz Factory. Song Windows. The Melvins and back to that Deep Six compilation from 1985. The song Grinding Process before that Nirvana spank through the name of their song from that Sub Pop 200 compilation. Soundgarden on their very own LP, the song Nazi Driver. Ultra Mega came out last fall, sometime uh, November or so. And Screaming Trees started the set off with brand new, brand, brand new music. Windows, the name of their song, off. That Buzz Factory LP. And now it's time for live weather with Chris. Thanks a lot. It uh, looks like uh, we're finally getting some nice weather for uh, most of eastern New England and Boston and Cambridge areas, and it looks like it's going to continue throughout the majority of the weekend, as a matter of fact. Uh, in the long term, I do see some showers possibly moving in here later on Sunday, and I'll get to that in a minute. But today sure looks like a great day for getting outside and... Uh, taking some time off work. Uh, We already have sea breezes that have kicked in along the coast, so I don't expect temperatures to rise a whole lot from where they are, generally in the middle 60s, possibly upper 60s for high temperatures, uh, and those will probably occur later this morning. Temperatures along the coast will tend to slide back a few degrees later on this afternoon to around 60 by evening. But inland, if you go especially west of 128, it could be up near 80. under bright sunny skies, so just a gorgeous day out there. Overnight it'll be mostly clear. Uh, low temperatures will drop to the middle 50s in town, low 50s uh, to the west of the city with very light winds becoming calm late at night. Tomorrow will be a day much like today, 
Uh, sea breezes will probably set in along the coast, holding temperatures to the upper 60s to near 70. But inland, uh, 10 or 20 miles, it'll be in the upper 70s to near 80 for a while, uh, possibly inland dropping back late in the day also. Now, the, the system of interest will be a very slow-moving frontal system in the Midwest. That'll be uh, in the Ohio Valley on Saturday. So I think Saturday will start out with sunshine and probably be a mostly sunny day. The system probably won't approach us till late Saturday night and Sunday, and it will be weakening with time. So I don't expect Sunday to be a washout by any means. Just look for uh, some increasing cloudiness with a few showers during the day. Uh, high temperatures Saturday should reach uh, about 75 in Boston. And on Sunday, if we get a little sunshine, the wind should be swinging into the southwest. So we might be pushing 80 degrees on Sunday. So look, uh, with, again, those few showers thrown in probably in the afternoon. So that's about it from here. It looks like a nice stretch of weather coming up. And now back for more of the Breakfast of Champions. All right. Thanks a lot, Chris. And now back for more of the Seattle Rock and Roll Festival with request for Tad. chemistry set in the song fields off their EP and to see them live is not to hear them the way you just heard them now they're definitely playing in the grunge rock tradition as is Tad the, the song that was before chemistry set was sex god Missy off their new LP that's that's basically the term you got to get hip to is grunge rock that's that's the Seattle music scene these days but there's also a lot of other bands in Seattle that aren't grunge rock as is this band, Pure Joy, Weather Theater, The Posies, a whole bunch of other bands, Capping Day, bands to listen to, listen, check out. Beat happening from Olympia, Washington, just south of Seattle where you can find Olympia beer, one of the fine beers brewed in the Pacific Northwest, aside from uh, also Rainier beer, which you want to ask for whenever you get to a bar in Seattle is just say, give me a rain dog, they say. Before Beat Happening, the Weather Theater, Persian Carpets, the name of that song, off a not-played album from uh, earlier this year. And Pure Joy started this set off from an old song from there called, called Words Conceal. Just two of uh, the many alternatives to grunge rock in Seattle. And there's a lot of them. There's these Beatlesque pop bands and all sorts of things. The music scene is really thriving there. So when you take your summer vacation there, you'll know uh, you'll know what to look for. All sorts Hi, of things. Hi, this is Van Connor from the Screaming Trees. You're listening to WMBR Cambridge. Even if you're retarded, I still love you. The Young Crush Fellows finishing off that set from Seattle. And if you never knew, now you do, do. Seattle is the place for rock and roll. It's so cool, in fact, that David Green is even hosting a Seattle band on the Late Risers Club in just a half hour. Maybe not now. Maybe not now. The walkabout's from Seattle. <laughs> David might have gotten too much Seattle rock and roll for one morning. But you didn't. If you're going to go to Seattle, now that you've changed your summer vacation plans, then you want to go to the Central Tavern, the Backstage, the Vogue, Squid Row Tavern, the Oxford, or the Ballard Firehouse to hear the best bands. That's what you want to do. And there are all sorts of bands. I played an hour and a half of Seattle music, but there's much, much more. So check it out. Uh, leaving you with 11th Day Dream. Nothing to do with, with Seattle except for uh, the title, which is Go. Go to Seattle. My name is Dara. I'll be back Monday with the Breakfast of Champions. So I'm going now. David Green's up next with Late Risers Club. Stick around for that for sure.